Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. I'm making sweet sticky rice steam in banana leaves today. This is a sweet snack which is steam made from sticky rice, coconut milk, sugar, and optional is filling such as banana or other type of potatoes and they're wrapped in banana leaves. For some of these goodies, I'll be adding some Thai bananas, but not to all of them as my kids do not like bananas in theirs. The banana leaves give this snack a very nice fragrance when steamed. This is the type of sticky rice that I'll be using. This is short grain, but you can use long grain if you prefer. I listed the ingredients here. This is a large recipe, so if you want to make less, you can divide this portion in half or further. Measure out eight cups of sticky rice in a large bowl. Rinse it times four in sink water until the water runs almost clear. After the fourth rinse, fill the bowl with hot sink tap water and cover it with a lid and soak it for three hours. While waiting, prepare the rest of the ingredients. Start by preparing the banana leaves. I'm using these 10 inch round pre-cut frozen banana leaves. I find these easier to use and to wrap versus using fresh banana leaves. For easier wrapping, I like to blanch my banana leaves, but this is optional. Blanch the banana leaves in hot boiling water for 30 seconds on each side. After one minute, remove and place banana leaves into a strainer and then dry the banana leaves one at a time with a paper towel. While drying the banana leaves with a paper towel, try to scrub off the white substance as much as you can. As it get closer to three hours, boil water to steam the rice. Add water to your steamer pot and bring it to a boil. Spray your steamer with vegetable oil to prevent rice from sticking for easier cleaning. Pour all of the rice into the steamer basket and then drain the excess water. Place the steamer basket onto the steamer pot. Cover and steam for 30 minutes. Make sure your water is boiling before you place the basket onto the pot. As the time gets closer to 30 minutes, prepare the coconut syrup. In a medium pot or wok, add in two cans of coconut milk, which equals to 800 ml, two and a half cups of sugar, less if you want less sweet, and then mix these together and place it on the stove to bring to a boil. After 30 minutes of steaming the sticky rice, remove and pour it into a large bowl. Add the hot boiling coconut syrup into the rice. Make sure your syrup is boiling hot so that it helps soften the rice further. Mix these together. Once your rice have been mixed and gets to this texture, you want to cover with a lid and let it rest for one hour. After one hour, we're now ready to wrap our sticky rice. This is how your rice will look after one hour. This is how I like to wrap my sticky rice in banana leaves. I've set up my supplies. I have my rice, my banana leaves, and then the Thai bananas which are sliced into four in halves. What I'm showing here is a way that I like to wrap my sticky rice in banana leaves. There's many ways on how to wrap. I'll show two other ways that you can also try and wrap and you can choose whichever that you prefer.
This is a different way on how to wrap and it's pretty much similar as just the end where you wrap the banana leaf is just slightly different. For this wrap, I added one slice of Thai banana to the center for the filling. This is a different way on how to wrap and as you can see the line of the banana leaf should show diagonals. Steam the wrapped sticky rice for 30 minutes. These can be served warm or cool. Once cooked, these can be left out at room temperature for a day or you can saran wrap them and place in the fridge so they can last longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, comment down below.